Hi everyone, my name is Richard Jang and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at the Enterprise Networking Business Unit. And I'm here today to talk to you about Cisco's first Wi-Fi 6E access point and the most advanced 6 gigahertz access point in the industry today with a hexaradio architecture that supports a whopping 1200 clients, supporting the full capability of 11AX, as well as advanced RF visibility with Clean Air Pro, as well as our brand new AI and ML driven scanning radio. Now that supports spectrum analysis, packet capture, rogue and WIPs detection with Cisco DNA Center, locationing and IoT with Cisco DNA Spaces, as well as security with the Identity Service Engine, making it the perfect mission critical access point for any deployment. Now, I hope you're as excited as I am because let's go ahead and without further ado, get started. So when you order the Cisco Catalyst 9136, it comes in a box just like this. So let's go ahead and open this. When you open the box here, you're going to be presented with the Catalyst 9136 access point as well as a mounting kit for the T-Rail as well as the Air AP Bracket 1 which we'll talk about later on in this video. For this access point here, when we talk about dimensions, it has a dimension of 9.9 .9 inches by 9.9 .9 inches with a height of 2.2 inches as well as a weight of 3.5 pounds. Now this is incredibly comparable to any of the previous Catalyst 9000 series access points in both dimensions as well as weight. It is actually much lighter than many of the Aeronet access points as well. Now, let's take a step back and talk about the radio architecture. As I mentioned earlier, we have a hexa radio architecture, which yes, you heard that right, is six different radios. Now, let me break it down to you what exactly that means. So first of all, we have a four spatial stream 2.4 gigahertz radio, we actually have two 5 gigahertz radio that in this release can be put together for an eight spatial stream or in the future release can be separated into dual four by four. And of course, we also have our six gigahertz radio, which is for Wi-Fi 6E, which is four spatial streams. Next, we also have our AI and ML driven scanning radio, which I mentioned earlier that along with Cisco DNA sensor can provide us with full RF visibility. And last but not least, we have our IOT radio that's able to produce BLE and other IoT RF. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right back into our dimensions and mechanical design for the Cisco Catalyst 9136. So if we take a look at this access point again and flip it over, you're gonna be able to notice that there's actually a much larger recessed area than before. So compared to the 9130, the recessed area is bigger the ridge is a lot lower, which makes more a much easier cabling experience. Now, you'll also notice that there are actually two 5 gig ports. So these 5 gig ports actually have two functionalities to them. The first one is going to be called port redundancy. So what port redundancy is, is that if you go ahead and plug PoE into these ports, one of them will be known as primary and the second one will be considered as secondary. And what this is going to be able to do is that if for some reason one of the powers, one of the cables run out of power, it's still going to not have the AP reset, creating us a high availability environment. If you go ahead and take a look at this access point here, you can see that the LED is currently blinking. If I go ahead and unplug one of these ports, you can see that the LED still continues to blink and that's what port redundancy does for you. So let's go ahead and continue on with the unboxing and talk a little about the second feature when it comes to the dual 5 gig ports, which is link aggregation. So as you saw earlier, the ports here are 5 gig ports. If you don't happen to have MGIG switches that support up to 5 gig, you can actually use lower uh, gig ports, such as 2.5 gigs, such as if you have two 2.5 gig ports, then if you plug them both in, it can still allow you to use the maximum performance that AP is allowed to use. So moving on, let's talk about the remainder of our ports. For our next port right here, we have our console ports right here for our standard CLI access, our factory reset button here, as well as these two holes, which is for our brand new environmental sensor feature, which supports three brand new environmental sensors, temperature, air quality, as well as humidity. This has a full integration with DNA spaces and their new up and coming rich map feature which provide an immersive experience and help us with back to work safety. Now, the data from these environmental sensors will be fed directly with gRPC to the DNA spaces connector, which will give facility managers and anyone managing the buildings a direct view into live environmental sensor data. Now, 
In addition to environmental sensors, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the AI access point. So if you flip it over, you'll notice that we have a USB port right here. So this USB port is gonna be used for a number of different features, but one of them is for application hosting, which if you're not familiar, allows us to load an IOX app directly onto our access point, which can talk to an RF USB dongle that's connected directly to this USB port. Now what's new on the Catalyst 9136i is that this USB port supports nine watts compared to previously of just 4.5 watts, which opens a huge array of new possibilities and innovations such as being able to connect even a Raspberry Pi directly to our access point. Now, with that being said, that's the Catalyst 9136i. Now let's quickly talk about what we still have in the box here, which is the Air AP Bracket 1, as well as a T-Rail. So this is the standard mounting kit that's gonna come with a Catalyst 9136. And if it sounds familiar to you, that's because it is. It's completely compatible with all the previous generations of access points for the most part. So migration is a piece of cake. All you need to do is remove a previous generation access point and slide the new one. And with that being said, this is the unboxing for the Cisco Catalyst 9136i. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to learn more, please visit the links in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.